Hello and welcome to this very short dissection video where we're going to show you um, the muscles of the pectoral region, in particular the pectoralis major and its minor, which is this one. Right? So if you look at the pectoralis major, it is going to have a costal head or a sternal head, then it's also going to have a clavicular head. Right? The sternal head will originate from the first to the sixth uh, costal cartilages. Then in terms of insertion, this muscle will actually insert into the lateral leg of the bicepital groove. Function wise, this muscle is going to be a flex of the shoulder joint. It is also going to medially rotate and it's also going to adduct. Right? Then its nerve supply will actually come from the medial pectoral nerve and the lateral pectoral nerve, which come from the medial cord and the lateral cord of the brachial plexus, respectively. Right? Then this muscle here is going to be a pectoralis minor. The pectoralis minor muscle will originate from the third, the fourth, and the fifth ribs. Then it's going to insert into the tip of the coracoid process, which also provides origin for your coracobrachialis as well as attachment for certain ligaments to include um, the coracoclavicular as well as the acromio, um, coracoacromial ligament. Right? This muscle is going to depress the tip of the shoulder and um, in terms of its nerve supply, it's also going to come from the pectoral nerves. Right? Then clinically, these muscles may be uh, absent in uh, a syndrome known as pollen syndrome, where you may have the pectoralis minor usually absent plus or minus uh, the sternal head of the pectoralis major muscle. That's just about it. Thank you.